I guess I'm in a dressing room of Jack Singer Hall, it seems, and I'm here for meeting with a conductor and a rehearsal with CPO and in order to play a least concerto. Yes, that's a one. I've been conducting for almost 25 years, and this concerto, Liszt, Pierre Concerto Number no. 1, I, I don't know how many times have I done it. I mean, tons of times, possibly a hundred times, it, it doesn't matter. But when I wanted to uh, get a, a grip on very quickly, we're talking in 10 minutes or so, is what Yevgeny wants on the piece, on what his stake on the piece is, and see how can I help him, how can I accommodate you know, my support to his music making. Just later, I mean. Oh, sure, you, you, then you're extremely difficult piece. It's one of the most tricky concerti written for piano ever. That's my opinion. It's very difficult. The problem is not a big deal like, you know, Brahms concerto or Prokofiev second. No, it's a very short piece. <laughs> In this case, you can see Liszt at his best. You know, Liz was this exuberant performer and composer that did wild things. I mean, he was out of place, basically. Well, like many composers, but him particularly, he took the world by I surprise. The way he played and the way he wrote music for him to play. And I think that's, that's from what I've heard from my, my colleagues, that's the biggest challenge. How, how can anybody play like Liz? There are some additional problems. You have to sound above the orchestra. And sometimes it creates some kind of unexpected problems. Yes, I had this conversation with, uh, with my wife long ago about women's makeup. Because the makeup, when you use it in a daily fashion, is one way, but if you stand on stage, and you know what, 50 meters down, they must be able to see the same thing. So that means it's enlarged to almost you know, out of proportion. The problem is when you have to play louder, it changes something in the way you move your hands because of you have to play louder. And you actually, your hands do not know how to do that because of you never tried. concerto consists like of very short parts and it's always dialogue between orchestra and uh, pianist and all the small pieces they're actually very virtuoso so you are in trouble because of you wasn't successful in this you failed in that and you already arrived in the final and yes the concerto is over actually because of it's very short <laughs> 